Aloha, my friends, and welcome to another episode with Maui Craft Kitchen. Today's recipe is one that I've been working on for some time now to get it just right so that I can share it with all of you. We are going to learn how to make fresh potato gnocchi. I have perfected this recipe so that it has just the right amount of chew while keeping them pillowy light at the same time. So hold on to your spuds, because we're going to work some of that Maui magic and get right down to it. Now we will take 600 grams of russet potatoes and cook them. I prefer to do this in my air fryer because it's quick and easy. But you could do this in the oven. You could boil them. You just need to get them tender. We're going to set the temperature to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and cook them for 20 minutes. After the first 20 minutes, we're going to flip them and cook them for another 20 minutes at the same temperature. A big mahalo to my buddy Rod the camera guy. You're going to let your potatoes rest for five to 10 minutes, just so they are a little easier to handle. Grab a small paring knife and start peeling back the skin. The potatoes will still be hot, so just be careful. Don't throw the skins away. Just toss a little bit of salt on them. They make a great snack while you are making the gnocchi. Now weigh out 400 grams of cooked and peeled potato. Get yourself a potato ricer like this one. This has a plunger that presses the potatoes through the little grate here, making it much finer. Load a potato into the ricer and squeeze it directly onto the board. We want the excess steam, which is water, to escape from it. After letting the steam evaporate for five to 10 minutes, we will proceed. Add the salt, the egg yolk, and the egg white. Mix together until well incorporated. Now sprinkle the flour over the top and slowly start to mix it in. Keep mixing until a dough starts to form. Now knead it for one or two minutes until everything is evenly mixed. Get yourself a piece of plastic wrap and wrap it up while we clean up our workstation. All right, now that we're all cleaned up, we're just going to cut our dough into four equal pieces so it's a little easier to deal with. Take one piece out and wrap the others back up. Lightly flour the board and roll out the dough into a rope. You want about half an inch diameter or so.
Now take your bench knife and cut little three quarter inch pieces out of your rope. Lightly flour them. Take a gnocchi board, grab a piece of pasta, and gently press and roll at the same time. This gives the pasta these beautiful little ridges that hold onto the sauce. As I make them, I'm going to line them up on a cookie sheet that's lined with a piece of parchment paper. Now if you don't have a ridged pasta board, you can just use a fork. Grab the pasta, press it into the back of the tines, and roll it off. Not exactly the same, but it does work. Now you don't have to do anything at all with them. You can leave them just like this. The sauce won't stick to them as well, but many people leave them just like this. So if you would like, you can proceed to the next step right from here. Now go ahead and finish the rest of your gnocchi. Once you have them all done, I like to pop the tray into the freezer while I get a large pot of boiling water going. Once your water has come up to a boil, you're going to drop in your gnocchi. I like to use the parchment for an easy transfer. Give it a gentle stir. The gnocchi will be done when they start to float. Then we will transfer them to the ice bath to stop the cooking process. When the gnocchi start to float, just pull them from the hot water and go directly into the ice bath. Once our gnocchi have cooled, we're going to pull them from the ice water and let them drain. Now that we've made our gnocchi, what do we do with it? Get yourself a hot pan over medium high heat. Throw in some cooking oil, about a tablespoon of butter, a few large sage leaves, Once the butter has melted, toss in your gnocchi and toss them in the oil. Let them brown for a few minutes, tossing occasionally. Once they are nice and browned, add a little bit of salt. Fresh cracked black pepper, one clove of minced garlic, and about half a tablespoon of whole butter. Toss that around. Turn the heat off and finish cooking until the garlic is golden brown. Pull it from the burner and toss in some fresh sage leaves. Get yourself a plate and turn the gnocchi right onto it.
Now enjoy the beautiful meal that you just made from scratch. There you have it, my friends, all of the information and know-how to make your very own potato gnocchi. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that subscribe button and click the bell. I can't thank you all enough for watching. Many mahalos and much aloha.